hey guys welcome back in this video i will be showing you how to flash custom roms on your phone first of all make sure your phone bootloader is unlocked then your phone has custom recovery installed uh, to, how to find custom recovery let me show you so first of all there are so many recovery given by the developer or suggested recovery but you can use twrp or orange fox if developer says you can use any recovery so how to find recovery let's go so we are now on our pc screen and to find recovery what you have to do is just open any browser and type so i prefer twrp and orange fox both but for the first time flashing you can use twrp it's easy and very convenient method to flash custom rom on your phone then orange fox is quite complicated so for the first time user i suggest to use twrp instead of orange fox so you have opened the browser now type twrp for example i have redmi 8a which so i have to write redmi 8a okay then when you click here is the twrp ring or you can type here any of your device name that you have so i am type so i have did uh, for redmi 8a so here it is so i will just click here and now i have to just download from this so from this link click here on the europe if you live in europe then you have to means in asian countries then you have to click here on the europe and if you are from the american countries like canada usa and all that so you have to click here on the americas but i am living in asian countries so i will click here on the europe and now you have to select the latest twrp image so here it is so just click here and make sure to download dot img file don't download the dot zip file so just click here and and from the first link you have to just download the p twrp olive light dot img don't select this file only download this file so i am downloading this file and guys before proceeding further make sure the uh, laptop or pc have adb drivers installed so i have made a detailed video on the how to install adb drivers Le that video link is in the i button or given in the description box below please make sure to check it before or else your device will not get detected in the pc so after adb driver installation now to flash rom from the pc you will require platform tools so link of that is also given in the description box below so just download the platform tools from the link so after you download the platform tools on your pc just go to that zip file it will be in a zip format as you can see compressed zip file so just open it and just click here on the this folder and just click here on the extract all and make sure you extract in the folder that you use regularly means for example let me show you again so i am extracting to the desktop so i will select the desktop and just select folder and now i will just click on the extract so as you guys can see here i got a platform tool folder <coughs> okay so here it is now this is the platform tools folder before flashing rom make sure you use a slow usb port means use nowadays pc have usb 3.0 usb 2.0 so use usb 2.0 port to avoid disconnection or anything else so on lenovo laptops the first usb port is the usb 2.0 and these two ports are usb 3.0 so i will use this port as usb 2.0 now on your phone boot it into the recovery by pressing power button and volume down button i already booted so now connect the phone to the pc so when you connect your phone to the pc now you will get a usb like tick so now you can see that your adb drivers has been installed properly and your U and your device is detected by the pc now just go to the phone and in the recovery 
now select wipe uh, now select the advanced wipe now select delvic data sorry not select do not select internal storage select delvic data cache system vendor and just select swipe to wipe so guys i was first flashing havoc os but uh, there is some issue with the rom so i didn't flash correctly so it gave me this kind of method so here i am using the pixel experience rom to just showcase you now just sorry for the inconvenience cost so make sure you download the specific rom for your device or ask the developer in the telegram group so now just go to the format data after wiping delvi cat system vendor and data now just type i s e o and just select okay so it will using for it is now you see that it has formatted your data using m e k to f s it depends on device to device so there are two method to flash the rom first is the adb side load method and another is from flashing from the internal storage method i will show you the both method in this video but i personally prefer pc method to flash the roms but you can use both but pc method is easy and less time consuming method so for flashing rom from the pc now just go to the platform tools okay so here is the platform tools folder so just select here control a now just type cmd cmd to open command prompt and just click here on that now you can see that it is showing the desktop platform tools okay now just connect your phone make sure you use original data cable don't use the cable that come with power bank or any un unauthorized cable means use the original cable that came with device in the box now just type here adb okay sorry before typing adb just go to the advanced in your twrp then select adb side load wipe delvic and wipe catch and now select adb side load so now type adb devices okay when you type adb devices now you here see that there is some serial number showing if this is serial number is not showing then your adb driver is not properly installed make sure you check our video properly and install adb drivers on your pc now now what you have to do is now you have to just type adb side load so now go to that file that you downloaded so here is the pixel experience for olive wood which is my device so what i will do is i will just select this and just select copy as path or you can drag and drop so i will just select copy as path now it will be side loads then space then paste that path so here is my path now i will just select so here it is make your phone is unlocked and now just click here on the enter button so i am clicking enter now you can see that the rom flashing has been started and here is your rom name that is pixel experience which is based on android 12 here is the build date when it the security patch level and device hollywood so make sure after now here is also percentage shown so don't believe in this percentage it will just uh, stop at 47 and here your rom will be flashed successfully so don't believe at this percentage i think it's an adb bug so no issue you have to just follow the blue line showing here so i will catch you guys when this line will finish okay so rom flashing done now just click on the back go to the wipe then select format data now just select yes so format data is important if you are coming from the encrypted rom so if if you are not coming from the encrypted rom then you can skip this step but most of the stock rom has been encrypted so it's an recommended step to format the data now just go to the reboot now select system and your phone will start to boot up so here it is 
you will also get this kind of symbol when you unlock the bootloader but no issue with that so device started to booting up so here it is it's a pixel experience boot up logo and device takes around two to three minutes for the first startup so here it is i got welcome to your pixel screen means your pixel now just complete the setup so guys let me tell you one thing for the first two to three days you will get less battery backup or less performance from the device so this happens because you have set up a new custom rom on your phone so it takes time to adapt your usage so after two to three days you will get uh, similar or more battery backup than a stock rom because stock rom contains so many bloatwares especially mi ui and realme ui so pixel experience is bloatless so you will get better battery backup or pixel experience compared to stock chrome but for the two to three days you will get less battery backup so don't worry it will be fixed in a few now select the rom file just select this on mount system before installing a zip and now click here on the swipe to install so see here it is it is installing so wait till it installs on your phone so here it is this is how you can flash custom rom on your any android phone that you have so if you found this video helpful then please consider subscribing my channel i will post this kind of awesome videos for you guys so thank you for watching bye